Jillian Jess, MelfiSports.com, here with Chicago Bears' Alex Brom. Alex, when you're not making time for the fans, how has the rest of your summer been going? It's been going good. It's been going good. I've been on a cruise, actually, uh, through the Caribbean. It's been, it was a lot of fun. It was hot, but it's kind of good to get away from, uh, from here for a little bit just before camp starts, so it's fun. Are you getting excited for camp? Well, <clears throat> the excitement goes away after the first day. Like, you'll, you'll be excited, and then... After the first day in pads, like that goes away because it it's fun, but it turns into work real fast. So, it's yeah, I'm excited though. I mean, we have a good team. We have um, a lot of expectations. A lot of people will be there, so it'll be fun. Those Bourbonnet dorm rooms. Who's not looking forward to those? I know, right? The Olivet does a great job. Honestly, they do a great job, and it's it's. I, I never went to Platteville, so I don't know. It's always been great for me as far as the living. So yeah, I've been at Olivet Nazarene for the whole time. So it's been fun for me. The beds are okay. I mean, you buy an egg crate and you, you'll be all right. But it's camp. So it's, it's not going to be like home. It's camp. It's supposed to be hard. It's supposed to be tough. It's, it, all that stuff is expected. So if you had people waiting on your hand and foot at camp, then I don't know. I mean, I, I don't think it's – I think it has, they have to come up with another name as opposed to camp. So – it's not camp. Camp's supposed to be tough. Now, Tommy Harris sent us some videos of himself dancing in the locker room. We've mm -hmm. seen J-Mac and some of the guys playing video games. So mm -hmm. it has to be fun at times. I mean, does it make you feel a little bit younger? Absolutely not. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it just makes me feel kind of crazy as the year goes <laughs> on because it's you get older, well, we get older, and we still play the same games that, that we played as kids. So it's, it's fun nonetheless, but we have a great time. When we're not having fun, something's wrong with us, I think. So we always have a good time, and we enjoy each other. So it's good. It's, it's a good time. You talk about the expectations this year. How do you respond to some of the criticism the past rush game has been getting? You go out and you try to do better. That's it. I mean, there's nothing really you can say. I mean, we didn't get to the quarterback, whatever reason that we have or the coaches have. I mean, some people call it reason. Some people call it excuses. Man, I mean, we got to do better. We got to get the quarterback. We got to get to the quarterback, not necessarily a sack, but we got to put pressure on him. So, and we know that. We know we didn't. No matter how good you do, you always feel like you could have done better. We didn't do good. So we know we could have done a lot better. And with the additions that we have, I believe we, I believe we will. So with Coach Rob Marinelli, it's a different mindset, a different attitude that's coming. So we'll be, we'll be fine. I mean, the people that, that, that keep criticizing or are criticizing, just give us this year. And then we'll see. I want to get your thoughts on that, Coach Marinelli. I know Urlacher is a big fan. What, what yeah. are your thoughts on him? He's good. He's he's really good. Um, he's very strict. He he wants he wants a hundred percent out of you every day. He doesn't want excuses. He don't want like you you do it once. Uh, he wants you to do it every time, every day. Come with the same attitude and start over the next day. Like it's just it's almost like a just a repetitive thing just every day you do the same thing but it works and we've seen it work when he was down in Tampa so the things he's done with them and I, we believe we have as athletic um, guys if not better or more athletic guys so we we'll, we definitely believe in what he's saying and it's just a matter of going out and playing I mean it's, we can't win before the games get here you know so we believe we'll win but we have to wait till the games get here so I understand he changed the sign on the meeting room door. Yeah. To Rushman. You know what? <laughs> um, it's almost it's like the number you wear. It don't matter what number you wear. It doesn't matter what the sign says on the door. We still got to get to the quarterback. So I understand what he's saying as far as the mindset. And if you say something longer, you begin to think like that. So, okay, fine. But it doesn't matter to me. I don't care what they call us. I know I play defensive end. And my job is to get to the quarterback. I don't think that ever changed.